Hi everyone, sorry I'm a little late, had technical difficulties, so I'm going to check here, make sure I'm up and centered before we start. So what we're going to be doing here today, spring is coming up on Friday, guys. So we're just going to be creating a couple cards today. And these are the cards right here. Let me see if I'm in view. That we'll be creating, okay? Let me know if you guys can see me, if everything is looking okay. Put in a comment where you guys are watching from. I'm in Orlando, Florida. If you're watching live or watching the, the replay. So I am Claudette Stamping with Miss Puff and thanks for joining me at my creative corner. Um, Easter is going to be following right behind spring. How many of you guys send out Easter cards? I typically don't send out Easter cards. I would send out Valentine's Day, Father's Day, Mother's Day, birthdays, get well thinking of you, graduation, and Christmas. Does anyone send out Easter cards? So we're going to get started here momentarily. And what I want to talk to you about before we start making our cards is this fabulous paper here Stampin' Up! put out. This is a coordinating designer series paper and this coordinates with some of the products in our celebration catalog and our mini catalogs and this is called please as punch this is some delicious looking designer series paper so on this side you have your tulips so we have like pinks oranges yellows purples but um Stampin' Up! has a specific name for each colors. And then you have like a neutral color on this side. So you're going to get 12 pieces of um, the designer series paper and the sizes are 12 by 12. You get four designs, three each. Okay, so you have, this has a stamp set that comes with it and also a punch. And this is in our mini catalog. I am in a group where they had put out a challenge to do a fun fold card and I want to share with you this fun fold card that I created for the challenge. And um, this punch set, uh, not stamp set, is called Timeless Tulips and this is within our mini catalog. So it says hello and then it says spring, you hold it, open it up and that. Uh, I think it came out pretty neat. Can you see it? Am I in view there? I just wanted to share that with you. That what that was one of the challenges that I in one uh, one of my groups. So that was the tulip one, and this is the hearts. So the, with the hearts, they have two punches, two coordinated punches that goes with this set and a stamp set, and that is in a mini catalog. And they have like a neutral checkered side. This side that's beautiful. Then they have like this blossom, this mini blossom punch and stamp set is in our celebration catalog. And our celebration catalog of bonus products that you could get free once you spend, you have to spend $50 and up. It, with each $50, you could choose out of the, that catalog. And look at the beautiful stripes on this side. Okay. 
Then we have the umbrellas with spring flowers. And this is what we're going to be working with today. And on this side, you have raindrops. Isn't that beautiful? One thing I love about Stampin' Up! is that once you get the designer series papers with the packaging, they list the colors that comes within the pack. So you, it makes your, um, like makes you, when you put your projects together easier. So they take the guessworks out of the colors that you have to put together. I mean, you could see how these um, colors, is a lot of colors, but you could see how well they coordinate. Okay, so with this, like these are, um, while supplies last, this designer series paper is only while supplies last. So this um, DSP right here with the umbrellas, it goes with the under the umbrella stamp set. We'll be using that today. And it goes with the punch. So they have the umbrella punch. So you have um, an umbrella that's open, one that's closed, and you have the handle that goes with it. So that comes in a bundle too as well. So if you buy this bundle, you could get 10% off when you buy the bundle. I think this is a beautiful set. It's not only for spring, you could use it for occasions like your showers, your baby shower, um, your bridal shower, several location, um, thinking of you, get well kind. So let's go ahead and get started with our first card. So our first card here, let's see. It's gonna be here in purple. How many of you guys like purple as much as I do? I love purples and pinks. Let me know in the comment, what's your favorite color? So this purple we call gorgeous grape. And we're also going to be using, I think, Purple Posy, which is inside of the card that we're going to use. Purple Posy, and that's a lighter purple. So we're going to go ahead and recreate this card. All of the measurements and the supplies that I use, I'm going to post that up in a couple days on um, my blog. So this is my blog that's listed here. So if you want to hop on over there and check the measurements out and the supplies. So I'm gonna start with punching or stamping inside of my card first so that it could dry a little bit. And this is the um, purple posy color here, the lighter purple. And I am going to bring out the stamp set. And I'm gonna be stamping these rainy boots here inside. And I'm gonna be using the Memento Black Ink because I am going to be using our stamping blends, which are alcohol markers. And they work well together, the Memento Black Ink. So it kind of prevents the stamping um, blend inks from bleeding. And the Memento Ink takes a minute to dry. So I am going to go ahead and stamp that up first. And with these grid paper that Stampin' Up! provides, you can uh, kind of line your work up to kind of get it straight. And I'm not using my Stamparatus today, guys. I'm just using the blocks, the clear blocks. So hopefully I'll get those on. And always remember, it's two, always, it's two sides of a paper. If you make a mistake on this side, you just flip it over and use the other side before you go to a new paper. So we let that um, dry. Then we're gonna bring in a base cardstock here. And this is in the gorgeous um, grape. And that fabulous DSP, you kind of hesitant to cut it up, but we went ahead and cut it up. So you have two sides, look at that. 
So, but we're gonna use the umbrella, the umbrella here on this side. I'm gonna open this up and get my multi-purpose glue and glue that down to the base of our card. I usually have my silicone mat, which is a little rubber mat to pr uh, protect your work area. Let's see if this doesn't want to start here. And it's always good to um, put your glue upside down so it, it prevents it from clogging. Let me just get a little pin to unplug that. And then we would proceed. And just make sure I, your raindrops are right side up. I, I guess if your umbrellas are, then the raindrops would be. Oh, that's giving me a hard time. Now so much wants to come out one time. <laughs> and then you just have to be careful with this glue, like all that came out. It just would spill out. So let me just try to get that down. I don't want it to seep out of the sides. And it could be a little tacky or get, have a shiny look to it. And what I like about this multi-purpose glue is that it takes a minute to dry so you have time to work with your paper and move it around a little bit. So let's see, you know what? Oh shoot, you know what I did? See, this is when you're going live. I went ahead and put glue on the umbrellas instead, but no, no worries. I have another piece. Ah. Ooh. I have another piece. So make, see like, let me make sure I get the right side now, guys. So I'm putting glue on the the raindrops. It's not easy going live. Oh. So let's see. We just get that centered. There. Sometimes it just helps standing up and looking down, making sure everything is. On either side. All right, see, I just, that group just seeped out there on the side. And it's nice to get, have this little your rubber, cement rubber eraser that gets the glue off if you have it in air, any area once it dries. And you could get this on Amazon. So next up, what we're gonna do, or what I should have done guys, again, I forgot my bow. So this bow here, I got it, this is retired. I think it was last celebration, but it's a nice purple and I'm gonna see if I could get in here on the sides. And usually, I just um, put it in here on the side with some scotch tape. Let's see if I could get it in there before it dries. I always forget to put my ribbon down in there first, always. So you wanna put this down first, guys, before you glue it down. And usually I put a little scotch tape to the back to hold it down. So there. So we're gonna bring in one of the um, dies for our sentiment. 
and that was taken from our stitch so sweetly dies and these are in our mini mini catalogs so you just go ahead and run your paper through your die cutting machine and we're gonna go ahead and use the sentiment life shower brings life loves flower Life showers bring loves flowers and we're going to use a gorgeous grape and I'm just going to get a piercing pad because I am using um, for the Palmer um, stamps and it's best to use like a piercing mat a little foam cushion there and all right let's see if we get this in the center close my ink up before I get my fingers in that make more mess yeah all right so what we're gonna do is take this and pop that up on dimensionals and we have large dimensionals and we have mini dimensionals I think four should be good and again I just press my nails in that to get the back in off you know I was trying to use uh, my daughter's um, tablet earlier because then you could automatically hit the live but then it wasn't going so I had to go back revert back to my phone there we have that. And what I'm going to do is do, I already did a bow and we're going to get a glue dot and stick that onto that right there. And then for the flower part right here, you just gonna stamp, you know, you could choose what you want there. So I chose that again, I stamp it with Memento Black ink and we're gonna use um, our stamping blends to color that in. And I use Daffodil Delight, Calypso Coral and Pool Party and let's see some granny apple green so we have the stamping blends and usually they come in a light and a dark color so I'm just gonna do the leaves with some granny apple green and this is in the um, light granny apple green Like the, your cards don't have to be perfect these are handmade cards so they don't have to be perfect they are made with love and so this one is pool party so even if you go out of the side it has two t out of the sides they have two tips you know like this paint brush tip then you have this tip and it tells you on the blends here you see how wide that tip is so that's the bigger tip and this line right here is thin and that's the thinner tip and you know so this is for smaller images or if you want to write I like the uh, ticker th tip because I think more ink flows out of that 
And if you go out of this outside of the line, we have what you call the um, color lifter. It doesn't lift it all the way, but it, it lifts it some. Okay, so I am going to put in the middle here. This is a dark calypso coral. I'm just going to do the center here like that. And then just color this one here with this one here. And then I'm going to come with it in with the daffodil delight. And this is uh, the lighter one. Okay, and that's it. So you could put whatever colors you have, whatever you want to use, and then you're going to fussy cut that. And so what we call fussy cut is you're just going to take a scissors and cut it out, okay? And I already have one prepared there. And we're going to take our dimensionals and pop those up. Let's see here and use a big one and maybe two little mini ones here this is probably a little low but we'll make it work So we'll put this along here somewhere and then we're going to go back and I think that's it for the front guys and we're going to go back here and color our boots and um, with this, these, this is the uh, purple posy and so the dark, so this we're going to color on top of purple posy so we're going to use the dark and the light here let me start out with the dark like I said I like the wider tip I just do along the boots where they're together, give it like a shadow appearance. So how are you guys doing with the coronavirus going on? My, we went to pick up my daughter a couple days ago for spring. Um, spring break anticipating a week and like the day before they said uh, they are not going to have like spring uh, the spring classes is going to be online and that you know we had to move everything out like it's, I guess people could could have stayed but everything was limited meals then they was going to just put everyone uh, in close into one dorm transportation everything was going to be limited so thankfully she was just four hours away and she didn't have that much stuff. So we were able to just load up our truck and move her down one time. But you have to think about those international students and stuff like that who, you know, or who ever had flights planned. And so they had to, the parents had to cancel the, fly, the flights and maybe try to drive down and get their stuff moved, you know. So this coronavirus thing is just a whole mess, but you know, it makes you look at life, sit back and look at life and what really matters in life, what is important in life, you know? But I am thankful to have her home safe and sound and she gets to stay home and do her online classes. I have no problems with that. The good thing, one good thing about that is we'll be getting a refund for room and board and meals. So that's a good thing. So now what we're going to do is, I like to keep the inside of my cards um, blank so when the occasion arises, I could put whatever greeting I need to go in there. So we'll try this multi-purpose blue here again. Hopefully it's primed. And guys, this is why it's good to layer with your um, 
alcohol markers or a stamping blend, it bleeds through your card. So if you're going to, you don't want to actually color on top of your base card stock because it's going to bleed right through. Another thing is for layering, it just makes your card look so much better. Um, just make, makes it look healthy, not flimsy. So let's see if I could get this straight. So I just look to the top, see how much purple I have out, look to the, the sides so the edges kind of lay it down. And that looks pretty good. Close that up and give it a good rub. And that is our one card, guys. I was saying to put some bling and stuff like that, but I don't think so. I think it has enough going on. On to our next card. Okay. So this one here. I'll be using the raindrops and let me get that stash right there. And we just want our base is white. So we're going to be using the um, water on this side and the card that I messed up on the first time. I'm just going to re-ink that. Hopefully it won't be too lumpy. And I don't have a bow to put on this one. So I like to open up the base of my card. What's that? And try to get it centered. From the top there to the sides. I don't know what this is here. Okay. I just love this eraser stuff. So good. All right. So what we're going to do is, um, let's see what on this inside of that, we could do that in a minute. Let's work on the inside so that could dry. And this is our inside, just some raindrops and we use some balmy blue on that. And then I'm just going to randomly place some drops. And then I am going to put some flowers down in the corner and we're going to use our memento black ink for that okay we're gonna set that aside so it could dry And you're going to get some black paper and we're going to do some heat embossing. I just love this heat embossing. It's like magical, guys. When I first learned about paper crafting, this is what this is one of the things that got me. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to use our embossing buddy. This stuff has talcum powder in it, so it prevents any static. So when you put your ink on it, 
and you put your powder on it it doesn't go anywhere besides the um, for the most part the area that you stamped okay so what we're gonna do is take our Versa mark ink this goes with that our Versa mark ink and I want no matter the weather we are friends forever I have my stuff already pre set up on my blocks and again I'm gonna line this up with my grid paper and make sure I am straight as can be So we're just going to put this down here in the corner. And it's kind of clear. So what we're going to do is bring in some, we're going to bring in a coffee filter to catch our powder because we're gonna use white embossing powder. Like I say, get a lot of these from the dollar store because they're inexpensive. You could throw them out when you use it, or you could reuse it. And I think one pack would last me a lifetime of stamping. And so I'm just getting my white embossing powder here. Let's see, white. And I'm gonna put my heating tool on, guys. It's a little, little no noisy, so excuse me, I just wanted to get warmed up. But before I do that, let me show you here. So I'm gonna put it here, and this is white. So they come with different color. You have gold, I love the copper. And so this is white, and we're gonna put this white down here. I'm gonna do it another time. So. You don't want to touch that because it's, it's going to wipe right off. So it's in a powder form. And when the heat gets to it, it's going to melt it. And you're going to see it's like going to get uh, like a um, shiny look. So I just kind of use a little paintbrush and get little areas sweeped away. All right. And then before you put your blower on, guys, you want to take your and put your powder away. So this folds nicely. And I usually store my stuff right here in a case, guys. I got this case from, I think, I forgot where I got this from. I think it was Michael's that I got this larger case from, okay? So we're gonna get our heating tool and we're gonna heat emboss that and sorry about the noise. And it's usually two settings on this. The first setting on this heating tool, you could also get this on my online store. It's, you know, you could dry with it and the second setting is for your heating embossing. And it gets pretty hot guys. So even if you don't want to use the tip of it, you could take a tweezer and just hold the end of it. And it's getting hot and I'm gonna hold this up to the camera I'm hoping that you could see the magic on this from when it turns to, um, to shiny let's see here there we go it's starting to turn You could see it. Some people say that you should do it from the back, but I like to do it from the front, and then you could see that it's melted. And I don't know if you guys could see the shininess of it. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is put that down with multi-purpose glue. You could put um, ramp that up with your dimensional. 
but I'm just going to use some multi-purpose glue on that. You know, it's so hard for me, I, um, you know, when they say, oh, stop, don't touch your face and stuff like that. All these precautions. It's so hard not to touch your face, you know, once you're used to touching your face. So we're just going to center that there. Okay. So what we're going to do next is for our um, rain boots and our umbrella, we're going to work on that. So we're going to, what I did is I stamped those wood um, with Memento Black Ink. And of course, again, we're going to use our um, stamping blends. And let me tell you, when you're using that, you want to look at your orientation of your punch. So if I stamp um, it, you know, it depends on how you stamp it. Do you want to stamp it so when you go in like this, you get your umbrella, okay? And see how your handle is upside down? When you stamp your handle, you want to stamp it going in that, that direction, if that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and stamp the open umbrella here. And then with my little rain boots, see if I have some room here to the top. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that one there. And then I already pre-stamped some of the flowers that we're going to put there on the boots. And then we just want to do some coloring, guys. So we're going to color the inside first now that that had a minute to dry. And we are using some Granny Apple Daffodil Delight. Let's see. And Calypso Coral. So, on these here. So, we're just going to do. And, like I said, this don't have to be perfect. You could just do a splash of color. And just make it look like watercolor. I hope I'm in camera. I'll just do this here with the Calypso Coral. I need to close up my Memento Black ink because that thing gets all over the place. Okay, so now we're going to go with uh, Granny Apple Green. Do all leaves. So we're going to go ahead and do some coloring on these little flowers. Just going to do one here. Daffodil Delight, your yellow. Come back in with the Calypso Coral. You have your granny apple green on your leaves. Then with our boots, we're going to use um, this is the light and dark of cherry cobbler. 
Okay, so we're gonna color that in cherry cobbler. So I'm gonna use the dark, let me use this. I don't like the small point, but I'll use this here and just use it like where the wires are, like give it a shadow. Look for the darker areas. Then we're going to come in with the lighter one, blend, kind of blend that out. So even a lot of school, they give an extra week for spring break. Some places there was like they weren't having graduation. I guess maybe just the ceremony, the ceremony they weren't having. with this coronavirus going on. How is it at your grocery store? Is a lot of stuff off the shelves? I would take it like it'll be hard to find your Clorox wipes and your hand sanitizers. So now we'll do the boots. dark one and just give it some more shadow here the foot of the boots to the cuff of the boots and just blend that out So you'll just do your umbrella and use your punch. You're gonna fussy cut your flowers and your rain boots. So you put that in here and kind of line it up. And it depends on how much white you, you want. I guess the white to be even. Sometimes it's even all around. There you have that. So then you'll fussy cut your um, boots and your um, flowers, okay? So I already did those off camera. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put the inside of our card in. And you could see here on this how the um, stamping blends bled through. I am in focus here. And you could also use your tweezer for this, guys, because it prevents your hands from getting sticky. So again... Now what we're going to do is take our um, boots umbrellas and we're going to pop that up, those up on dimensionals. All right, they're right in front of me. Looking for my dimensionals. So so we'll put our boots right here down to the bottom and we're gonna get our flowers and these are tiny so we could use the mini dimensionals for those want too many or not. I 
know some hospitals they were saying they weren't doing any elective cases but no word yet from the hospital where I work so we're gonna go ahead and put these right about here with this coronavirus stuff going around Then for our little handle, we're going to put this, let's see, this way. And then you're going to take your umbrella, center it, and put it, let's see, there. So you have that attached to your umbrella. Turn it around. Add a little bit more dimensionals. And I just need to see if I could cut a little skinny piece for the um, handle. Overlapped a little bit, but that's okay. So we'll pop the backing off. And then we're going to place this right here. that I had made a little bow earlier what do you guys think should I leave the bow on or add a bow I think it needs a little extra something let me know in the comments what you guys think if I should add a bow some little twine or it looks better with it off let me know what you guys think in the comments let me know bow or no bow that is the question so there we have our second card and you could put your sentiment right over the raindrops right there so moving along our third and final card that I said I like purple so we have Let's see, our purple posy is what we're gonna use for the base of our card. Let's see what we have inside. We have, we stamped the halfway closed umbrella inside. So let's go ahead and do that because we're gonna use, guess what? Momenta Black Ink. And give that puppy some time to dry. All right, so we have our handle for umbrella. I just want to show you something, guys. On the um, DS, the designer series paper, let's see if I find piece. So you have the punch here for the handles, and you could use you could punch the umbrella. So you have the closed umbrella and the open umbrella. So if you want, you could punch a handle from here, or you could just stamp it and then cut it out here once you you know you're cutting out so we're gonna do here and this one we're gonna put the um, handle down first and we're gonna put that let's see I like to what I want to do here is make sure I have enough room for this I'm gonna just measure this so I have enough room for them both that down just about there and they said that you should hold it for a couple seconds so the ink could transfer to the paper there we go 
and then get our umbrella. And let's see how close we could get that. So I'm gonna center it there. Not bad. So we're gonna let that dry before we color it with what? Our stamping blends. So once that's drying, what I'm going to do is bring our some let's see. This white piece of cardstock here. I'm gonna line it up here with my grid paper. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp these flowers on that. And we're gonna use Memento Black Ink. Okay. So we're gonna be stamping off and on some of the, um, so you, will, you want a scrap piece of paper down when you're doing the stamping. So like I say, it's no perfect in your handmade, homemade cards. And if you don't like it, you flip it around and stamp on the other side. Got a little closer on that one, but oh well. It would have to do. And let's see here. We are going to get, let's put our card together once that is drying. So we have our purple posy cardstock. Then our top layer, we use an embossing folder and it's called a subtle embossing folder. It add a little texture to it. So when you're doing tone and tone, you know you could see the difference, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that it didn't get on my paper. Glue this down. Now she's flowing, my glue, she's working. I think it's so much easier when you open your card so you can see your edges, you know, and it's more of a flat surface instead of having to do with it, deal with it folded. Kind of kind of buckles up on you. All right, so we did that piece, and then we have this layer piece right here. And again, we use the stitch so sweetly dies, and I use the largest hair of the dies on that. And this is in our mini catalog. So guys, if you like any of the products that you see here, please go over, check out my blog, and there's a link to go on my online store. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and color this piece here. And what we're gonna use is, let me fix my glue before, is, gonna get our granny apple and I'm gonna use the light granny apple and the light um, purple posy stamping blends okay so again you just this one I'm just not coloring it all the way just giving it a little bit of color
and then the leaves here with the granny apple. So then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna glue this to our stitched so sweetly die. Before we do that, let me get the umbrella. So I'm gonna use a different umbrella because when you go in, you have, you know, multiple of um, umbrellas that not not necessarily the, the the same. So with this one, this one is cut all the way down here, and this one is up here. You have to cut through your paper, guys, in order to get um, your to your um, or for your designer series paper to fit into your punch. So you just can't cut around so carefully depending on what you want to save. Okay. So we're going to use this rainbow looking one right here. And while that is drying a minute, we're going to get our holder. Let me see that one is kind of a little short. I am going to punch another holder on a piece of paper. The one I have already cut out to me is just too short. I want to just uh, slightly um, taller. So let's see if we get this right. See, so this is upside down here. So I'm going to see is on this side if I could punch it here or stamp it here and then punch it from that side. So you bring it in here and like I, this is what I'm talking about orientation you have to make sure when you stamp it and then so you don't waste a lot of paper to watch where the orientation of the um, punch is and let me see if I could get it centered I like this to be halfway looking decent, halfway decent. Let's see. All right. Not too bad. So I'm going to take another dimensional. Put it on my little handle. Stick it behind my umbrella and now this should have dried so I am going to go ahead and glue this to the stitch die So please share this video, please, if you like what you see today. I also have a YouTube channel and it is called Miss Puff Creative Corner. Please check it out. Don't be shy. Subscribe and share. And then once that's done, we're gonna pop this up. I'm gonna put my dimensional to the back of this before I forget, knowing me. So we'll put, put plenty of dimensionals back here. This is a video coming and going. I'm 
my daughter is on the sidelines here monitoring make sure I'm another device make sure I'm in view let's put one in the middle so that's plenty of dimensionals there and what we're gonna do is stamp hello sunshine on that and I'm taking a chance with gluing the paper on before I'm happy with hello sunshine because now I don't have a second side to flip through let's see I could always do another on top of that let's see hello sunshine and we are going to be using I was like, where's my Memento Black ink? Put it there in the back table. So we're going to be using the Memento Black ink. We're going to put that right here in the corner. Okay, not bad. Okay, so we're going to take our umbrella. We need some more dimensionals, so let's close our ink. We need a skinny piece of dimensional. I'm going to cut here just a little sliver for the um, handle. Get our back ends off. And we're just going to slant it down about right there. And then guys, it's just the same thing with stamping your flowers with Momenta ink and then just coloring them again, fussy cutting those out, hand cutting those with a pair of scissors and just taking these and popping them up with the, we're just going to use some mini dimensionals here. Then just trying to stick it right underneath the umbrella here, and then we'll put one down that way. Let's see more dimensionals. there and then we'll take off our back end off of here what's your favorite holiday I love Christmas is my favorite holiday next is Thanksgiving you know Thanksgiving is a time when you get to see you know, family that you haven't seen for a little bit, for me anyways. And Christmas is more of your immediate family. So I'm going to 
put hair right in the middle. What do you think? You think this needs some bling or it looks good like that? And now let's get the inside that we stamped earlier with the halfway close umbrella. And we're just gonna take a uh, pool party blue. Yeah, let's see. And we're gonna color it with some pool party. Any left-handers out there? I am a lefty. I use my right hand for a lot of things, like I'll bat right-handed. You know, it's amazing when growing up, I don't know if anyone grew up in a time when I did, when they try to make you to use your right hand. So I use my right hand for a lot of other things so now we're just gonna glue this to the inside See about getting this in the center. Not bad. There we have all three cards. I'm going to bring the rest of them out in a moment. So those are the three cards that we created using this happy, happy designer series paper please that's punch and i i hope you guys enjoy um creating with me today and if you guys like these cards these makes it make and takes would be available until the 20th it'll be free for you with a minimum purchase of 25 dollars on my online store and that's with before tax and shipping and that would include envelopes to go with. So you'll get three make and takes. You got three envelopes to go with it. It does not include, I cannot punch or put the images on there if you're going to make it for yourself. So it doesn't include, not punch, but stamped images. All right. So the little um, DSPs that I punched out, I'll be able to send the DSPs to you. So you will get um, some glue dots, you'll get dimensional, you'll get the card stocks cut and scored. Um, you'll get the stitched um, So Sweetly dies cut out for you. Um, you'll get all these colorful um, papers, you'll get the DSP, you'll get um, glue dots, you'll get the, some ribbon to create that. This card, and um, so I said glue dot ribbons, your um, dimensionals, you'll get on the cardstock and the DSP cut out, but um, no stamp images or greetings and the envelopes would be included. And of course, I'm not gonna include any uh, multi-purpose glue. Hopefully you will have that with your scissors. Thank you guys for joining me again. If you're interested in getting these make and takes, um, do check out my blog page and there's a link to my website. Anyone that orders 
a minimum of $25. This is before um, tax and shipping. I would send this mail out to you. Thank you guys for tuning in.